Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. So excited to be with you for another episode of Busting Through Myths to really find your soulmate. So while people are joining, take a moment to let people come online. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida, nice and crisp instead of all that heat that we that we experience. Okay, so while people are joining, I want to take a moment, for those of you who are new, I want to welcome you to our amazing community. This is a community where we, again, we look at the real information that you need so that you can find healthy love. And I am Barry Lyman, and I'm the founder and the creator of Meet to Marry, that Get Unstuck in Love, that's a transformational dating method that really helps people to get unstuck in love and permanently break through unconscious dating patterns and to uh, summon your soulmate. Imagine that, summoning your soulmate, right? And today we're gonna talk about love, bringing it in, and we're gonna talk about our relationships hard work. So again, Take a moment. I want to see who's here with me today as people are joining. Where are you guys coming from? And do you think that relationships are hard work? It's a really good question, and people have very strong opinions about it. So I'm going to take a look and see who's here with us today. Really excited. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Yep. All right. Okay. So today, um, Christine is here with us and she's going to help out dropping links and, and really supporting you guys uh, through this conversation. So good. So as we're chatting here, um, let's see. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. Okay. Fabulous. All right. So here we go. So I want to share as we get started in our in our uh, discussion today. The question is, as we bust through myths, is our relationships really hard work? Okay. So I want you to ponder on that. Um, and what it's been really like for you. And I know I had my share of relationships that were definitely, definitely hard work, but there is a reason why relationships are hard work. And that's what we're going to talk about and what it takes to have a relationship that is not and what the mindset is around that. So I pulled off of my love wall today. This is Jody and Dennis. And Jody uh, is a client, and she was actually. Here we go. And she married her soulmate. And this was maybe, I don't know, about seven years ago or so. And um, oh, hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth uh, found her soulmate, which is amazing. Um, Jody struggled for a long time and relationships were definitely hard work. She got divorced. <laughs> that's how that's how hard the work was, the relationship was. And she really struggled and she wondered, why is it, how is it that if I am so self-aware that I got married to the wrong person, that the relationship was, yeah, you know, kind of dead, more like um, a friendship, but... And, and many people marry uh, men that are um, ne uh, neglectful, emotionally unavailable, uh, people where they're definitely not on the same page. Who notices that, right? Who's been down this road and, and feels that, oh, yeah, yeah, relationships are really hard work. So if you are, you're definitely in the right place because, again, that perspective is super, super common. So the good news is that uh, Jody did what we're going to talk about today, and she is with her soulmate, and they have been living a life of connection and joy, 
and partnership. And I want to talk to you about really how that happens. Uh, they have a beautiful place. Uh, they, they lived in California. They moved to upstate New York and they have a, they have a, they, they bought a, a property in Croatia and they go there all the time and they are definitely, um, they are definitely soulmates. So for those of you just joining, we're having a conversation today about our relationships, hard work. And if you think they're hard work, put that in the chat. And I want to, I want you to think about what comes up for you when you ask about relationships, when you think about them. I want to share another quick story with you. Um, this is, so this behind me is my wall of love and all my clients want to be on it because it's such a great place to be because uh, all the relationships are amazing. This is Pamela, Pamela Michal Newman and her sweet husband, Steve. And she also struggled very much in relationships. All her relationships were really hard work. She dated, she was married twice, uh, once to an alcoholic, um, once to a man who was just totally emotionally unavailable. And if you are, are married to a narcissist or someone who is addicted, clearly they're emotionally unavailable and clearly the relationship is going to be hard work. And so I wanna to talk to you today about that perspective so that if in the past you relationships were hard work, uh, what that means to you now and how that affects you when it comes to finding love. And I want to share something that uh, someone posted, sent to me today, all about it. She said, hi, Barry, I go back and forth between picturing how great a relationship would be and how it would look okay, like the future, to thinking like relationships are draining and too much work. I'm currently in a three-year relationship and that does nothing for me. I don't know why I don't just put an end to it. I tried to, but it kept reaching out again, so here we are, and it seems as empty as ever. So again, who here can relate to that? I think many of us really can relate to that. We don't live together and it's not about money. Um, and she said, um, I, I don't know, you know? So when it comes to thinking about a relationship, she said, uh, we're talking to you or working with you. I don't wanna waste your time. But can you see what's happening here? And it's so sad that she's in a bad relationship and it's been going on, but do you notice she's not leaving the relationship. And she says, I don't know why. And that is a, is a big clue to the real underlying reason why we get so stuck in love. I've been working for 15 years to help people to get unstuck. And once they get unstuck and we change their perspective, everything shifts. And then you get to be in a healthy conscious, amazing relationship. You see, uh, this woman, she really, really wants it, but something is in her way. What do you think is in her way? She's in a relationship three years, it's dead, but she's not leaving, he keeps coming back. So really, who, without any shame or, or guilt or anything, who is the real problem here, right? It's always, it's always us. It's always our perspective. So now, again, we're talking about um, fear. Uh, it's really fear. Why we feel relationships are, are such hard work. So first of all, the conditioning that we have in our society doesn't prepare us for a really powerful perspective in love, okay? And that is really why. So if something is, is awful, you've been in something awful and painful, and you even grew up not hearing positive, uh, not, not seeing positive experiences in love from our parents, the people around us in our society, 
then we think of relationships from our personal experience as hard work. And who wants to get involved in really hard work, right? You know, it's like her life is worse. And it's almost like, you know, I don't know why I don't put an end to it. So if you don't know why you got into a relationship that was bad and you don't know how to put an end to it, and you're just sort of waiting and waiting for some lightning bolt to strike that's never going to strike, how can you have a good, healthy perspective about love, about relationships? You see that? So at the end of the day, there is nothing wrong. Relationships, healthy, conscious, growing relationships are definitely not hard work. Old, disempowering, uh, coming from the past uh, perspectives of being unprepared, that is what keeps us in, um, in relationships that are bad. So let's take a look. So now again, for those who are just joining, we're talking about are relationships really hard work? And the answer is <laughs> healthy, conscious, growing relationships are not hard work. So who would want that? Who would want a relationship that's expansive, that's connected, that is rooted in inspiration and empathy and joy? And the big one, commitment. Who wouldn't want that? Who wants that? If you're watching this or if you're uh, in the chat, if you're watching the recording, definitely let me know if you want that. If you want to break out of relationships or hard work. Because here's the thing, in the old paradigm, when we choose a person to marry or to get involved with, for the most part, we are blind and we are unprepared. We have, again, no modeling. And then we get with people that we just hope and, and wish that this relationship will work out. But I ask you this, what is it really based on? What is this? Most people are getting into relationships that are doomed to fail, that will be hard work because they're not, again, conscious. So there are two kinds of relationships. There's unconscious relationships that are autopilot, that we just wish and hope. And then there are relationships that are empowered, where you are a person that knows how to bring in love, right? Because you understand it. So one is kind of, I don't know, autopilot. Let's see what happens. I'm probably going to date my father again. Or you come to it from a space of total readiness and preparedness. How exciting is that? How exciting is it to be able to change your perspective and be the one to find the one? How exciting is that? Because again, most of us have no real understanding of healthy love and, and, and we're seeing all these terrible relationships around us and, and society tells us, oh, it's the old ball and chain and they make fun of it, right? And then it becomes, again, scary, hard work and who wants to do that? And the next part of that, again, is in the unconscious paradigm we have not experienced healthy love. And if you've not experienced healthy love, then how do you know how to find it? It's like getting in your car, you wanna go someplace, but you don't have the GPS, okay? So who can see that? When you think of the relationship that you were in, or like uh, this woman that she is still in, Three years she's in it and they don't even live together and she can't get out of it and she's afraid of future love. I mean, is that a, a paradigm for success? It's bad. Can't get out. Don't know how to get out. Even if I get out, I'm afraid I'll repeat it. So we're doomed to fail in love. 
And that is the reality. That is the reality. And then when most of us choose love, I talked about this last week, what do we do? We have taken a break in dating, right? Woo, say she gets out of that relationship, it'll be such a damn relief, woo. And we take a break, six months, a year, two years, five years, seven years, a decade goes by, woo. And we're relieved to not be in a bad relationship. And then we may try and get back into one, get through optimism, well, let me get back into love, uh, let me try. And then what happens? Are we any better prepared after that break, like I talked about last week? No, you've just taken a big break and you tell yourself, I'm happy alone, I don't wanna suffer anymore. But where's the world of, of sweet love, of, of healthy, conscious love that is so unfamiliar? Because most people, when they're getting into a relationship, here's another big mistake they make. It's all about fantasy land and 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 uh, and the, uh, the the date. There's the honeymoon phase, and it's chemical attraction. And I hear bells and whistles, and it's so beautiful. But is it really beautiful? Do you really know what the person's intentions are? Have you shared about your vision? Have you even attracted a person who cares about your vision, who is able to meet your needs? Probably not, probably not. So again, we are talking today about our perspectives and our readiness around love relationships. Are they hard work? And again, we've just discovered, for those of you just joining, that yes, most people think they're hard work and you got to be ready to do hard work because love is hard and it's two separate different people who, who just are coming together and it's really hard and don't have any real expectations around it. Okay. Now, who would like to be done with that? Who is open and ready to change your whole perspective around relationships and step out of conventional thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, conventional thinking is terrible. 50% divorce rate. You, you're reading in the, in the papers and in magazines about uh, be, be, be more goddess-like or get inside the minds of men, all this very bankrupt, wrong information. So I wanna take you to another, another paradigm. Here's a paradigm that prepares you for healthy love and to know that healthy love, conscious love, is the most amazing uh, thing that there is. It's the most healing uh, thing that there is, right? It's not uh, just going to yoga or meditating on this concept. It's a real reality and a way of living that most people are not going to talk to you about. They're not. They're going to talk to you about landing a guy. Men need to chase you. Uh, men are a certain way. That is so wrong. Who's ready to let go of that and understand that I have been attracting men who are emotionally unavailable because I have my own blocks and fears and lack of clarity about how to invite in a healthy man. Now, the woman in the example, what would we do? We would change her perspective. We would have her literally understand why she is in that relationship and how to change it and how to have the confidence to be someone that brings in something totally different, right? But, but her perspective is, oh, I don't want to waste time. I don't know. That is not rooted in success. Can we all see that? Because what's going to change? Nothing. Likely, without an interruption, I can talk to this woman in three years and she'll be in the same spot. Maybe she will have gotten out of it, but she'll be relieved to be out. She'll talk about it in therapy, but nothing will really change. And she still won't get her needs met. She still won't be in a conscious relationship. So in order to get into a, a healthy relationship, you've got to be a person who is future focused, free and clear of all of the old stuff that is holding you back 
and bringing you back to the past of fear, of relationships are hard, of my mother and my father's relationship, mm, wouldn't want that, all of that. So to be free and clear of the past, to have to a, a totally new perspective around love, to understand what are my true needs in a relationship? Because when you understand your true needs in a relationship and, and you're actually living in a world of confidence, not fake self-love, ladies, not fake self-love, but real self-love. And self-love and vulnerability can only happen when you are free of the past. If not, it's just optimism. And optimism alone doesn't change anything. Can you see that? Okay. So now, again, for those of you who are joining us later, we're talking about um, our relationships hard work, and we're learning that some are, but they don't need to be. And I'm here to help you to have conscious love where it flows. And to do that, you need to be the one to find the one where you're ready to have real conversations, not not conversations rooted in optimism and, you know, just uh, chemical attraction and, ooh, I had a good time or he's so nice because none of that is really lasting. What's really lasting is to be prepared to understand yourself to, to know how to have real conversations about conscious love because you're inviting in men who are relationship oriented. Now, if in your mind you're saying, is she crazy? Are there really relationship oriented men, commitment oriented men? And to that I say, of course there are. My clients meet them. I married one. But if you're over here and ew, relationships are hard work and I don't want to get hurt again and I'm not going to date and, and risk uh, ruining my life, then the man that you really want, who is not of that vibration, he's over here. He's like, I am ready for love. I want a partner. I want to build a life. I want to travel. I want my best friends. But you're over here. Yeah, relationships are hard work, and I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I trust it, and I have walls up. And, and then you try and date, and you meet men who are like you. Because if we have a fear of getting hurt and we don't trust, well, you know, the laws of the universe, if you don't trust uh, and you have walls up, then what do you think you get back? Yeah, you get back men who are not trustworthy. But again... And this is a very mature conversation. We got to take ownership for it. We got to take ownership for it. Conscious love to wrap it up is so beautiful and it's so healing. And it's like the sun. The sun doesn't have to try to, to, to rise every morning or set in the evening. Gravity doesn't have to try. There are laws of nature. But along the way, because of our generational patterns and the messages that we've gotten through our lives, we have lost the essence of what beautiful relationships really are. So I love this because I know what is possible for you on the other side of all these fears and on the other side of avoiding love and, and self-protection and wasting time overworking or overeating or, or stuffing our pain of not having a real partner for the first time. So that is really the answer. And I look for women who are ready to be honest and real, who are badass women who really know that having a plan and having a structure, one, just like anything else, right? You set a goal, even when you're more prepared to go on a vacation, you prepare more than in your love lives. Are you going on vacation? You book the vacation, right? You pay the money, you book the destination. I don't know, maybe you're going to Tulum. Maybe you're going to Italy, right? It's booked, done. And then you come back 
right? And then you get your favorite outfits, then you get the pet sitter, right? Then you have the books you're going to read, then you start researching the great restaurants you're going to go to, all that stuff. And you're taking the steps to get on the plane on that day and be on that vacation. Practical, right? Practical. But most people, when it comes to love, you don't have a plan. You're, there's nothing practical about it. You throw up a profile, you go online, but 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 it's like on top of all this, uh, uh, all of these blocks, I call them blind spots. So so how's it going to possibly work? Uh, we want love, but we don't know what we're doing. And going online or asking for introductions really just brings you the same match of what your energy is now. So I invite you to change it. If you're ready to change it and you want to compress time and have the result and meet your soulmate before the holidays, then, then we can do that because that is what I look for. I look for women who are definitely problem solvers, understand strategy, and are willing to say, help me out. I'm not an expert at this. I'm an expert at other things, but not love. So again, if you're done with losers and you're done listening to, ew, love is so hard, because if you complain about love and dating and you want to talk about how love is such hard work, you're going to get tons of agreement. But if you want to be with your person and your soulmate and a goalmate and moving and building and creating and knowing you're going to be together like forever because you're both made of, of maturity and, and generosity, then I think we should talk and we'll actually look at what's really in your way and what your dreams are. So Christine, Christine is going to put in the, in the chat um, a link to, to speak with me for 20, 20, 30 minutes and we'll really look at it and I'll lay out what the plan is and if it makes sense, we'll do it. And if you're ready, if you're not ready and you want to stay, um, you know, in the paradigm that you're in, it, it might take you more time to have the courage to say, I am ready to conquer. I'm ready to have love. Okay. In which case I'll be here. So every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern, we are talking about the real realities of foundation for love, healthy, conscious love, and breaking through the myths and the challenges that are very real. I get it in order to have what you want. So if you're ready, you want to talk, uh, it's meet to marry.com slash step into love. It's a clarity session and you'll walk away with clarity. Okay. If not, I would love it. If you enjoy this straight talk and this healthy talk about conscious love, I would be grateful if you would share it with your friends and have them come to this group because I think that more love, love is more is needed in this world for sure. Okay, that's it for me. If you have questions before next week, be sure to send them and have a fabulous day and I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Thanks for tuning in because I want you to know I believe in you and I believe that you deserve to have what you want. Okay, beautiful.